<laughs> I've had too many people make me pinch hit in bed. You see, I'm a transgendered woman, a woman through and through. I had to be a Jack Colin of trades, never allowed to specialize in the sack. Apparently, I lack the congruence of genital to gender and the fact that I've got a penis and breasts. Christina, I want you to uh, fuck me with your dick here. Just, just get over me, just like this. Yeah, yeah, just, just fuck me like that. I felt like Vanna White watching contestants picking the wrong letters. No, you have it all wrong. Or, or my favorite. Having sex with you is always what I wanted. You're like a sensitive man. W. T. Fuck. <laughs> I mean, granted, you could tell someone to use the right pronouns, she, her, him, they, them, but how do you pronoun right in bed? It was already hard enough letting go of who I was supposed to be, the manly male that's the backseat driver giving my sex drive the wrong directions. At first I felt like I was going to be a constant sacrifice being transgendered, that I was doomed into having no to bad sex. But then there was also the reverse situation where I had laid down all the information about me because I'm always all about open communication. First date, great. Second date, awesome. Third date, wait, you have a dick? Take care. I mean, you can't argue with what someone likes or what they want. I mean, that's cool. But on my end, they were all constant reminders that I wasn't woman enough. My philosophy is that it's there if you want to use it, but then there's the rest of me, where I come alive. My neck, my ears, my arms, my back. I like to think of my body and my mind as my sex organ. An instrument meant for skillful and appreciative hands. I am a Stradivarius, handcrafted with love, resilience, sensitivity, heat, and hormone therapy. I'm also the conductor that knows what she likes senses your highs and your thighs, and the lows only audible through the friction of skin against skin, bringing you note to note through exposition to climax. Okay. Now, what I want to do with my body surgery and all will always be for me and no one else. Perhaps I've dated too many of the wrong kind. You could say it was a learning experience, but the constant denial of my womanity placed me and pushed me into the far corners of denying happiness. And then there was Megan. From her mouth she said, If I turn my back on getting to know you romantically on the basis, on the fact that you were born in a different state than I was, then I would be a complete fool. And miss out on the greatest love of my life. You are a woman and that is how I see you. She joins me in validating myself. She moves me in ways that makes the core of my apple quiver and want and want and want. There's the consensual sensuality that speaks to the sensitivity needed by the little girl in me that's been abused. To be treated as the woman I am but giving this girl a chance to grow and learn and let me tell you, I've always been a good student. Now, I do not have to just or compensate with her, I enjoy the full rights and privileges of being a trans dyke. Sure, there's the surgery stuff in the future and other things as such, but love has always been the most important part of my journey towards me. And I had been denying myself that. It's not the constant strife or challenges or the rejection, but the impossibility of grasping the idea of falling in love and being entirely in it as me, as whole, but she gives me but she fills in the blanks. She gave me sketches, she took me to her side, has shown me a great deal of her own womanhood so that my own would flourish. And I wouldn't want to take any of these things back. The nights without food, rape, being hurt, cuts, being scared, tortured, being confused, alone. So when I let down walls to love someone, it comes from a place of a woman who has seen many hardships, crossed the rivers of gender, has experienced the oppression of being denied to be me. And I just don't place my faith in anyone. And when I say I love you, it's from the composition and summation of a girl slash woman who means what she says and says what she means, who has come from a journey from death to life and now life with love. <laughs>